Let's talk about social media. Let's just start off by saying if corporate didn't exist, then it would be an amazing platform. And that is a great tool, how the companies and the people are using it could be improved. Like for instance, Discord implementing their UI for educational purposes, but then they scrapped the entire idea for their transgender program. Another issue behind it is because of how big these corporations are, there's next to no moderation, so anyone can say anything they want with next to no disregard. Anyone can say whatever by lies they want, but as soon as they do it in the real world, then they'll get their teeth kicked in. So if we all learn how to get along and accept opinions, then maybe the world will be a much better place. And get rid of Twitter while you're at it. So in today's episode, I'll vaguely be going over different social medias and their main issues. So anyway, are we going to be starting now? Oh shit, sorry. My honest opinion? It's actually good. Why? Because it knows how to moderate. It's a good platform for all ages, even if it's full of old grumpy people that talks non-stop about Biden and politics. But at least it gets rid of the Gen Zs. So true, Auntie Gertrude. So true. Yeah, it's rewind time. YouTube has a good community. It's a shame that the people behind it is turning into some cheap TikTok knockoff, or at least back when I first made this bloody report. It's a good place with good channels and a video for everyone. But if you stay away from the very corporate short section, which is somehow more corporate than TikTok themselves, then everything will be perfectly fine. Also, don't drain out your videos for way too long because everyone on this platform has the attention span of a fucking goldfish. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Imagine YouTube at worst because it's owned by Jeff Bezos. This platform is also basically Simping Simulator. Back when I made this report, I would give this an easy 7 out of 10, but now it's barely a 2. The reason why is because it gives you ads live, and even the streamers don't get anything back from it. But at least you get 10 bits every 5 minutes, you watch someone, yay, a pittance. A platform owned by Meta for teenagers to flex their bony arms. This is the first ever social media that I have ever used, and it's also the first social media that I stopped using. People apparently care more about chess picks in 1111 than they do about memes. If you ignore the scam artists, ransomware users, and child predators, then it's a completely mid platform. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no. Perfect for Simpson generic Gen Z teenagers from the UK. This is Snapchat. Hell oh, yeah. It's full of simps and single retarded Gen Z teenagers. When you instantly boot up the app, it instantly goes to your selfie cam. So, what's the point of going onto it when it's a security issue and people can literally spy on you when they get on your phone when you boot up the app? But even then, if you do want to go on the app, at least you can see the latest crack cocaine deals. WhatsApp is perfect because WhatsApp is simple. That's all I'll say about it. <laughs> TikTok is a poor influence on modern society and the fact that it's mostly unhinged doesn't help too much. It's full of brain nits, full of idiots, not funny in the slightest, a poor influence, stupidly easy to get popular and it's stupidly hard to find good content. How much worse could it get? Oh, right. The China spying controversy. Thank god I don't use it then! Discord, a platform where people can be whatever, or in the user's case, not human. It's full of depressed and anxious teens that want to be something else and end up doing really strange shit. It's heavily biased and the staff are children. 60% of the users say they want to kill themselves, yet they return the next day to say the exact same shit again. And the moderation is given to people as the most pronouns or the most obese way. Discord plus Instagram equals Reddit. It's full of fat kinkers. Also, if you want to be the main protagonist of a predatorial NSFW game, then this is the perfect place to go. Need I say more? Does the intro theme give you the idea of how bad Twitter is? Or do I need to explain to you? 
If so, then you're a troglodyte. Twitter is by far the worst social media I've ever seen in the 17 years of my existence. The community is toxic. People get scammed on it. CP, Z pride, sexual identity is faker than my dad. Feminism's used as some fascist movement where, quote, all men should die. God bless on your journey on fighting a decent Twitter thread because you'll probably die of cringe midway through the journey. And that's just me being generous. A great social media platform where toxicity is non-existent. It is also the last art-based platform that has been protected by Jesus himself. Because of this, Pinterest is genuinely a decent platform if it wasn't so bloody boring. So anyway, that concludes most of the major social media platforms. You get the gist, it's a good concept, but it's bad in execution. Anyway, see you, go have a live touch grass!